Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I have some really fun projects that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, we will be making three different ephemera pieces made from book pages. I wanted to start using some of my book pages. I've got some napkins that have a really lovely spring theme, which I wanted to also use up. At the end of the video, I will show you a quick tip on how to remove the layers of the napkins and you actually keep every piece of the napkin intact so you can use you know the additional layers and other projects which i really do enjoy doing some napkins have two layers some napkins have three so you'll be able to quickly see um, how to pull those apart so we'll be making um, three different projects today some of them i'm sure you have seen before but i thought i would just walk you through these um, uh, you know three different little projects. I wanted to use up like I said my napkins and I also wanted to use up that large washi tape that I recently um, uh, Received from the washi tape shop. I will have everything um, That I can linked in the description box below whenever that is available I also wanted to apologize in advance for my lighting um, I am just basically using, you know, sunlight at this moment. So whenever the, um, the sun comes out, um, you'll see it brighter and the clouds come over, it'll get a little darker. So I apologize for that at the moment. Um, what else did I want to say? I have made uh, book page projects before and I will link those videos below if you haven't seen them. I'm sure there's lots out there that you have seen, but I just wanted to share what I'm working on at the moment. Um, and um, you know hopefully you'll have some fun crafting with me today i wanted to make some really quick and easy projects with you and uh, you know something that you can just um, gather your pieces together quickly and make a few sets that you can share with friends in happy mail or swaps um, and so we'll be making three different pieces today not the envelopes because I've shown you how to make those before and I will link like I said videos of previous um, book page projects that I have shared with you and on the envelopes I ended up using this really giant washi tape um, usually I don't know what to do with the washi tape um, when it's that large but I thought this was perfect to cover up the flaps of my little envelopes because it is um, you can move them up and down and it doesn't crack or break so I thought that was perfect for that project and if you have any tips or suggestions on how you like to use book pages and napkins leave a comment below and let me know I'm sure we all enjoy any additional tips and tricks that we can use with these types of projects so like I said at the end of the video I'll show you that quick tip on removing the layers so this is a project that I've made already. I'm not showing you exactly how to put this one together because I'm sure you've seen this before. You know, you fold your page to make your envelope, you glue it on the sides and you've got a little envelope. But what I did want to show you is this quick little bag. Of course, you can add ephemera to it if you're sending it to a friend. Um, I don't even bother cutting up the edge or cleaning it up because I tuck it in and use it as my, um, kind of like my fold to hold my pocket together. Um, I also don't use brittle vintage pages because this wouldn't work the page would fall apart so if you have book pages from you know any current books um, that are not vintage this works amazing for that um, and it is like I said using up all those book pages that we seem to have as junk journal makers and crafters if you are making junk journals you definitely have a lot of these book pages around so as you can see here, I'm just folding this in, in basically threes um, and then tucking the bottom to the top to enclose the bottom of my pocket. I'm not even cutting anything off. I'm not tapering anything. This is one of those projects that, you know, it's just so fun to not bother um, being so stressed about. Just put it together. They make lovely little pockets or bags that you can include lots of things in them and of course the theme of these are spring theme and i wanted to use that really lovely napkins that i have that have all those little um, easter eggs in birds and butterflies etc so you can see there so this is basically our little bag and then um, here's just my layer of um, napkin now i use uh, dry like a stick glue for this project primarily 
Um, I find that it's enough to hold the napkin down and it is nice and flat. I don't also decoupage over it or cover it up at all because I really enjoy the texture of the napkin and the paper together. So I don't like to kind of go over it and seal it. But of course, that's an option if that's something that you enjoy doing. And if you wanted to make this a little bit more vintage, of course, you can distress the pages before you start to glue everything down. As you can see here, I've just cut up a piece to um, you know give it uh, that design on top and it's super easy because I don't have to use you know um, other papers and things to cover it up I can just use a napkin now I almost used my wet glue here but this is what I enjoyed using um, stick glue I find works perfect for napkin it glues it down really well and just be generous with you know you um, your glue stick on your paper because it will definitely adhere and hold in place. Um, I find the corners sometimes are a little bit iffy um, because you know I don't necessarily see exactly where the glue has gone but for that you can either continue to use your glue stick to finish adhering it or you can use your favorite wet glue. Um, I do like the glue that I use because it's not a, a glue that will warp on my pages. Um, and there's so many types of glues out there. Of course, I don't you know, really like to go overly expensive with my glue, especially with these projects. So I do like to use my, um, my I believe it's Aileen's glue. And then this little tool, I absolutely love it. I will link it below if I um, remember to. Um, it's so helpful when you're just you know, trying to flatten a surface or trying to even score something. It works really, really well. So here we are with our two little pockets. And then I've got this um, uh, floral one as well that I want to use up. So I'll probably be using that in the next project. But I thought this is such a quick and fun way to make a bunch of little pockets that you can send ephemera into. Okay, so we'll be making this, uh, you know, kind of double pocket next. I just wanted to show you in a journal how these would look. And depending on where you glue them you would have a tuck spot in the back and then of course the pocket that we will be making with a little book page and um, the the little envelope as well um, again depending where you glue it you've got side additional side tuck spots or in the back of the envelope so this one would be here and then you've got your little envelope pocket and like i said these are super fun to make because of course you can um, you know make a set of them that match nicely and you can send them off to friends so we'll just be making this one as well and i i did mention um these are not you know my original ideas these have been around for so long everyone making different types of book page book page projects uh, but I thought I would just show you the three quick ones right now and like I said I will link um, other videos that I have um, in the description box below where I have used book pages in many different ways um, and it's just always nice to use these up whenever you get a chance to lately I've been really wanting to go back to you know repurposing and recycling lots of items and so that's um, where this is coming from as well. I recently did share a, a video of a folio that I completed recently that I just made. And I thought um, I will start making that tutorial for it as well. So I just want to let you know, it was so fun to put that together with lots of junk mail envelopes, which is another thing that I love to reuse and repurpose. If you are new to my channel, check out those videos. Um, I have lots of playlists showing you how to make all those different projects as well. So here you can just see um, a fold up page in half and then um, the one side, I'm just folding it over a little bit and then the back, you kind of leave it um, so that you can still see a little bit of the back page showing through. And this way, when you glue your uh, pocket down, then you've got like that little additional piece there in the back showing that there is something behind your little page. Um, as you can see here, I've been using up my little my little napkin and I love these napkins that have a pattern everywhere because it's so easy to just you know add them to anything that you're working on. It doesn't need to be a specific side that you are um, using for this project. So I hope you are all doing well. Um, 
I am really looking forward to spring. Um, I am in Ontario, Canada, and we're starting our spring weather, so hopefully we are almost done with snow. I know sometimes we get some flurries here and there in the next couple weeks, but primarily I'm looking forward to the sun and, you know, cleaning out my garden and starting to get some you know ideas on vegetables for this year and the flowers and everything else so I thought about um, maybe even uh, you know kind of getting myself ready for a, um, a sort of garden journal um, that um, you know I can start keeping track of that but I sort of wanted to be a little bit more relaxed than you know having um, I guess too much detail in it more like you know maybe where what we're thinking of um, planting and um, you know the types of uh, things that uh, we are going to be enjoying um, harvesting this year okay so for the pockets depending on which side you um, you flip them you can have the opposite page with the pockets as well so I wanted to quickly show you that and um, the next thing that um, we will be making, I was thinking about making the um, belly bands. And I'm sure you've seen, again, these done in many different ways, but this is definitely so much easier to do if you just have um, you know, your book page, whatever size that may be. Um, and I guess this works well for a smaller journal because not all pages are um, you know, the large size, like eight and a half, I guess. Um, so it's just really a matter of folding um, a piece over we've made um, I think something similar to this before I think I did like a double pocket with them before um, but like I said I will link those videos below um, it's hard sometimes to go back to you know videos that I have made because I have so many and to try and remember which ones I've shared with you and which ones I have not <laughs> so um, at this point I'm just you know going with it whatever I want to make I'll start again if you've seen it I apologize if you've seen it before um, and if it's new to you then I'm really happy that you're hopefully getting some more inspiration so um, yeah so getting back to my little gardening journal I think I might um, put something like that together and uh, you know just kind of keep track of things this way this year I haven't really done that before and I'm kind of quite surprised because it is just really nice to know you know what uh, what um, was in the garden every year um, we have a small garden so it's not anything huge and I am thinking of maybe doing more kind of like um, pot planting than anything else we have some bunnies and squirrels and uh, they just don't stop chomping at everything so I'm just trying to, um, you know, sort of keep what we make um, a little bit less accessible. But like I said, our yard is not so big, so I don't have to worry too much about, um, um, you know, space and where to put things. I just, I think I want to do a lot more planters this year than anything else. So we'll see how it goes. I may take some pictures and share them with you if any of you are interested in that. And, um, you know, maybe we'll do some tips and tricks on that as well, because I know um, those of you that enjoy it, um, enjoy gardening, might have some tips for us as well. Okay, so um, here again, I'm just um, gluing this additional little piece to the top of my page. And um, I thought about covering the inside, like you see the little inside text popping out with the napkin but then I realized when you know pieces of um, ephemera go in and out of those uh, that pocket it might start to tear away at my napkin so I think what I'll do is maybe I'll just go back with maybe some washi tape later on or I could have just covered it with an additional piece of paper before I glued it down but that's just something that you could do you know depending on how you want to finish that off and as you can see here I am using my wet glue for the edges like I said this glue does not warp pages and it actually dries really nice as well so um, it will adhere my additional little corners um, I think a little bit better and I keep forgetting the, um, this one little corner here on the envelope I have to make sure I glue everything down before I finish it off okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video so far let me show you that quick tip that I mentioned I think it's um it's such a great way to separate the napkins and um, I hope that you find that useful. As always, questions, comments, you can leave them below and um, I'll try and answer as much as I can um, of your questions. All right, so 
this is what we do with our napkin. This, I believe, is a, um, a three-layer napkin. And the easiest way that I have found to do this is, you see how on the other side you can feel um, almost like a, a texture to it? If you gently flatten out all those pieces, so I'm just using this little tool again. You can use maybe, I don't know, um, I guess a gift card if you don't have this little tool. Look how easy it starts to come apart. And that was just super easy. And then of course you can start taking it away gently from the other side. I could have gone ahead and done this technique, you know, all over, but I didn't have to because this one seemed to come out. Now I save these as well um, because they're useful again to cover something else up. Um, and then because it is another layer in here, this one's a little bit more difficult to come off. So you do have to spend a little bit more time on this side, but as you can see, another layer completely comes off and you can repurpose that other piece of napkin as well. I really like to repurpose these uh, second layers because they have a little bit of a pattern left from the original one. And so there's just so much you can do with it as well. So as you can see, now you've got your three layers of napkins. I hope you've enjoyed this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the quick um, craft with me projects. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know which one's your favorite. If you like the tip, if you have additional tips on, um, you know, removing the napkins as well. But I found this one was very easy to do and very quick and useful. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, click on that notification bell and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.